Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the review. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged three liter inline six that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 277 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 22 around town and then 26 on the highway. Now let's go over the front end of the Silverado. So first off, you guys can see we've got the Duramax badge right here and this one is uh, bright blue. We've got the LED headlights here with the daytime running lights and then notice how I've got some black trim here off to the side. Chrome bumpers here with the parking sensors integrated in the front as well as the front tow hooks as well. And you guys can see overall it definitely looks great from an aesthetic perspective. Notice all the chrome here on the front end. Got your traditional Chevy bow tie and well, there's the front end. So coming around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you can see here from a design perspective with the wheel, you've got just a silver finish on it that, you know, goes along with that luxury truck theme. There's a quick look at the front suspension. We have our Z71 badge here off to the side and then notice the two-tone design with the mirror chrome on the top, black on the bottom, chrome door handles as well. And uh, yes, the truck is covered in flower petals. And also, sorry about the smudge there on the uh, camera. That's just because of the uh, rain. Anyways, popping here to the rear, you can see the leaf springs here in the back. And also you got the Rancho shock because this has the Z71 package. So here's a key fob. We have our unlock, lock, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. We have a payload capacity of 1,519 pounds, and then a trunk capacity of 9,000 pounds. Now popping here into the bed itself, notice we already have protection from the factory. LED bed lights here on either side with the outlet here down below. And then you can see there with the cargo light there at the top and cargo camera, and then Chevy bow tie there at the end of the bed. This one has the multi pro tailgate. So notice that it pops down. Definitely a cool setup and obviously adds practicality. Now this has a weight capacity of 375 pounds and well, that's the bed area. Boom. Now let's finish things up here with the rear. So you can see we've got the LTZ badge here and then we've got the upgraded tail lights here. And then notice here with the bumper steps, chrome bumpers with the parking sensors and then we have the little squished exhaust tips. And if you guys don't believe me on the uh, shocks, there you go, there's another view of those Rancho shocks from a rear end perspective. And, well, let's pop inside. Now here's the rear door panel with the LTZ. You can see here with the wood trim there at the top. Then we have the padding down below with the stitching that goes across. And then there's a quick look at the window control. One of the speakers for the sound system. And then here are the seats. So you can see you've got these leather seats perforated here in the center portion. Have the behind the seat storage. And then you can see padding down below and then more under seat storage. And then we have these rubber floor mats, a couple cup holders. We got heated seats here in the back, USBs. And uh, well, <laughs> we have a uh, window sticker that is not uh, a normal window sticker. Anyways, so you go. Now here is the front door panel. Again, you can see that wood trim and here's a better look at it. It looks really unique. And then again, padding here on the armrest, all of our window controls. Notice we've got automatic for the front two windows, memory seats, and then the mirrors do upline spot monitoring. And then down below speaker for the Bose sound system. And then here are the front seats again, notice perforated here in the center portion. And then all down below, we've got our adjustments there on the side of the seat, pedal layout down there. And then we have our drive line select, drive mode select with the tow haul mode. Sorry about the camera not focusing right there. There we go. Light controls as well. Steering wheel's power adjustable controls for the heads up display. Let's pop in. So here's a quick look at our steering wheel. We've got leather trim all around with the darker stitching on the center, controls for the center stack, paddle shifters. There are radio controls there on the back as well. We have our cruise control, heated steering wheel button, and then you can see the turn signal windshield wiper stock and definitely a nice steering wheel. 
Now here is the center gauge cluster. So again, on the right side of the steering wheel, you can scroll through a couple different menus, see different bits of info on the truck. We're just gonna leave it to the speedometer. And then again, we do have the trailer tow mode. So notice it shows the Silverado towing the trailer. And then we have our off-road mode, sport mode, and then normal. And then since this is a diesel, notice when I pop it in the trailer tow mode, it turns the exhaust brake on automatically, which is uh, pretty cool. And yeah, that's all for the uh, gauge cluster. Looks fantastic. And then there is a heads up display that you can see as well. Pretty cool. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, we pop it into reverse. You can see you've got the backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And notice the camera system is amazing on this. We've got the full 360 view and there are tons of different camera angles outside of the truck. So like you can see literally everything. That shot's a little bit low resolution. Um, but yeah, wheel shots and I mean, it's just, it's just crazy all of the different camera views and we even have a bed camera view as well uh, so they've just nailed it from a camera perspective now as for the rest of the infotainment system you've got the shortcut bar here on the side then you have the main screen here in the center with your android auto and apple carplay as well and then you have this auxiliary screen which you can scroll through a few different menus here off to the side i like to leave it to be a clock because it just i don't know flows together but there you go. We have the home screen button next to the home screen button. We've got our volume control, lane departure, parking sensors, auto stop start. That's for the tailgate drop down. This doesn't have auto raise, hazard lights, stability control, hill descent control, and then that's to roll down all the windows at once, which we better not press today because it's uh, raining quite a bit. And then notice the wood trim that goes across and then the silver trim down below that. And then you can see here with the trailer brake control. And then notice we have dual zone climate here, heated and cooled seats for the front passengers. One of the big benefits of the LTZs having those air conditioned seats. And then notice more storage space here. A couple of cup holders. And then here is the shifter for that 10 speed automatic transmission. And notice you got the L right there that you can go into. So you just pull it down twice and then it'll pop into L and notice it says L1. And then that's where you can do the manual shifting with the uh, pedal shifters if you so desire. A couple cup holders. And then here's the center console. Again, notice the perforated leather and all that. And then notice the wireless phone charger. And a little bit more storage space right there and moving from that to the glove box definitely nice with the dual glove box then it was perforated there on the front face and then you got more padding here on the dash now popping up top we do have a sunroof here at the top we do have a power sliding window but uh well yeah we'll open it we're fine <laughs> so there's that controls the sunroof and this has the camera mirror which you guys know i'm a huge fan of because it's a nice bit of safety tech and you know, lighter colored headliner. Okay, so this is a little bit different than what we normally do. So this is the window sticker on my uh, phone. <laughs> so you guys can see what this truck has. I just found this on their uh, website, which again, like I said, linked in the description down below. But notice the base price there, $57,000. And this has a few options, including the diesel engine. Um, but notice after all options, total MSRP $64,775, which makes this just slightly more expensive than an RST, which is kind of uh, like a loaded up RST with a Duramax engine, which is kind of interesting. Um, but boom, there you go. So I want you guys to let me know what you think about the new LTZ package on the Silverado. And don't you worry, I will have some comparisons coming soon to Ford and to Ram as well. Uh, but overall, I think this is a great spec, especially in blue. It definitely pops out quite a bit. That's gonna sum things up for our video, reviewing this 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with the truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.